Hey everybody, I'm going to do a little live video this evening for a Monday update. I promised you yesterday we'd do Monday, Wednesday, and Friday updates through this week and next week while we're uh, back to online only services for last week and the coming week as uh, far as we know at this moment. But I uh, did promise you I'd do that and I'll do that today, Wednesday and Friday. Give you kind of some updates of how things are going and how we're preparing uh, to move forward. Uh, even in the midst of a lot of uncertainty. But this evening, I'm coming to you right outside Cleveland County Stadium. You know, it's almost time for football season, and I'm really hoping we get to have a lot of football. Uh, you know, high school, college, I just love it. Uh, but nevertheless, I wanted to speak to you a little bit. I was out trying to get a few steps in this evening and got a few more to get in and thought it'd be a great time to take a break and just talk to you guys. So it's Monday, August 10th. Uh, we're heading into a busy week, and I'm sure most all of you have a busy week ahead too. We're looking forward to being with you tonight, Wednesday and Friday by way of video. And so thank you so much for tuning in. And if you would encourage others that will miss this live video, maybe you'll share it, encourage others, text somebody, instant message somebody and tell them to take a look and then keep us all updated on what's going on as we head toward this coming week so do remember come through this week uh this sunday we are still online only at 10 a.m uh, your sunday school lessons are going to be recorded will be available this week uh on wednesday and thursday and we'll talk about that again on wednesday so uh, be prepared for that we're grateful to god for all of our sunday school teachers and everybody that's doing a wonderful work keeping those lessons going uh, if you you still haven't gotten your materials for last uh, this coming quarter that are available to church uh, if you are unable to pick them up and you need us to help get them to you please don't hesitate to call the office 463-2576 and we'll be glad to do that okay so while I take a little break here uh, on the steps for tonight uh, I want to encourage you to do something school starts Thursday uh, for students, teachers are already back full force getting ready and you know they've got a lot of extra stuff to do to get ready for this year with all the challenges ahead. Sports teams are practicing and things like that so we're grateful that that's moving along and we're praying that everybody stays healthy uh, because we know how important education and also how important you know extracurricular stuff is for young people not just building relationships but teaching them to be team players and all that kind of good stuff and and it kind of keeps them occupied too and you know so we're grateful grateful for those activities so pray that all those things continue but I encourage you to do something if you haven't already uh, between now and Thursday for sure take the opportunity to come by our school grounds you may be in the Fruithurst area you may be in the Pleasant Grove area you may be in the Ranburn area or you may be here in the Heflin area stop by one of our school campuses and if you don't want to get out and walk that's fine well if you get out and just walk a lap around and pray and talk to God that'd be great but if you can't just pull up in the in the parking lot somewhere pick a space while there's you know plenty and then uh, just pray over the school pray over these uh, administrators teachers and all the support staff and all the students and everybody that'll be taking part you know pray for those students that are unable to attend uh, at this time and still need to do virtual uh, but for whatever reason doesn't matter whether they're at home or whether they're here uh, and pray that God would would move us through this pandemic and that as we move through it we could see his hand at work we could trust his heart and we would be able on the other side to say my what a mighty work our God has done I was reading this morning in my quiet time in Jeremiah chapter 18, and that's one of my favorite illustrations from the Old Testament. It's a story where God took Jeremiah and he took him down to the potter's house. And one of my favorite parts about that is as Jeremiah began to watch the potter, he noticed that he wrought a work on the wheel. As the wheel began to spin, the, pot, the clay didn't change shape until it was marred by the potter. But when he begins to mold that clay, he molds it the inside out. That's why it's important for children and students. We realize that their lives will not be molded from the outside in, but from the inside out. Teachers are so influential. Coaches are very influential. We pray that parents and pastors and Sunday school teachers and all of us are very influential in the lives of these young people because someday they're going to grow up and they're going to grow up really fast as they grow up they're going to have to be prepared to take on the challenges like you and i are doing today 
So just as much as Jeremiah watched the potter work a work on the wheels, he molded it from the inside out, the same is true for you and I. God is molding us from the inside out. The Spirit of the living God lives and dwells in every believer, and He's literally molding and shaping our lives by His Word and by the power of His Spirit and by our relationship with Him and, and thank God, our relationship with other believers. And as He molds us from the inside out, He's making us more like Jesus. And I want to encourage you, as you influence the lives of young people, realize it's not outside in. We're really seeking to mold from the inside out. So think about that. Jeremiah chapter 18, those first six verses, it's amazing how God took him there and he showed him. He said, Jeremiah, this is what I want to do with my people. Can I tell you as much as that's an Old Testament story, it still has New Testament application for the church today. He wants to mold us from the inside out. And could it be that during this time of pandemic, he's teaching us to, to learn to lean and learn to trust and learn to just believe by faith that he is God and he will do what he said he would do. So as he molds us and makes us after his image and fashions the clay, uh, just remember this. Just as much as God wanted to do that with his people in the Old Testament, he deeply desires to do that with his church today. So as he molds you, you know, remember this, sometimes when he's molding us and shaping us, it's not always comfortable, and sometimes it hurts, and sometimes there's healing and hurting. And even though we don't like to think of it that way, that's really the fact of the matter. That's the way it is. So as we deal with the pains of what we're going through, it's kind of like here in a minute, I'll put in some more steps here. and. You know, when you go up and down those steps, well, it's kind of painful, especially when you, you know, getting older. I won't say old, but older and, and been out of shape for a while. It is painful. But there's something that feels good about the fact that you see that there's progress. So as God works in your life, it can be painful. But just trust Him for the progress and trust Him for His purpose to be fulfilled in your life. Remember where we're back here, Wednesday night, uh, 6.30, we'll be live. I'll be sharing with you again, Lord willing, and I want to encourage your heart. If there's anything you need, anything we can do for you, the office is open 8 to 3, Monday through Thursday. You call us, you email us, whatever it is you need to do, call me directly. It does not matter. I want to help you. I want to see God's will done in your life, and I want to see you be more like Jesus tomorrow than you were today. So just know we love you, we praise God for you, and we look forward to being back with you on Wednesday. And you know this, <laughs> I love you, and there ain't a thing you can do about it. Well, I'm going to get back out here, and uh, y'all pray hard for me, um, and know I'm praying for you. You have a great Monday, and I look forward to talking to you again on Wednesday evening.